welcome viewers welcome to this session on the topic higher education opportunities in igno myself dr sindhu p nayar deputy director at igno regional center cochin will be talking on this particular topic this session is intended for all our viewers who would be interested to pursue some higher education programs with Indira Gandhi National Open University. So, in the beginning, let me tell you something about this university. IGNO is often referred to as the People's University, and looking at the genesis of this university, this was established by an act of parliament in the year 1985 with certain specific objectives. One objective is to democratize higher education. by taking it to all who desire to pursue higher education that is bringing it to the door steps of the learners igno provides access to high quality education to all who seek it irrespective of the barriers of age region religion and gender igno offers a number of need based academic programs by providing professional and vocational orientation to the courses and also promotes and develops and works towards developing distance education in india before i go into the programs that igno is offering it would be of interest for our viewers to know that there are some unique features of this uh, university igno as you as you would be aware is a national central university offering programs in the open and distance learning mode one unique feature is the flexible admission rules that igno has in its academic programs it provides individualized study that is it is flexible for the learners in terms of the place or the pace and the duration of study it uses the latest information and communication technologies for the teaching learning activities and it has got an international jurisdiction with presence in other countries as well it reaches out igno reaches out across the length and breadth of the country through its nationwide student support service network the programs are usually are referred as cost effective programs and there is a modular approach to the programs that igno is offering many of the programs are of modular approach in nature and also there is a sort of resource sharing and collaboration and and networking with other institutions and universities etc now looking at the major achievements of this mega university one is that it has emerged as the largest open university in the world it has been recognized as center of excellence in distance education by the commonwealth of learning or the col igno was conferred the award of excellence for distance education materials by the col there is a 24 hour educational channel the gyan darshan with regular educational broadcast with facility for live interaction in terms of enrollment student enrollment in the university has reached 3 million unesco declared igno as the largest institution of higher learning in the world in the year 
and it has the largest network of learning support system by way of which it offers academic programs across the country for all who desire to pursue higher education. So therefore, this is a people's university which has a number of programs on offer for uh, people at various levels in the society. According to their needs or desire or their flavor, they can go in for taking specific academic programs from this university through the flexible mode or the open and distance learning mode. Now coming to the regional center uh, at Cochin, uh, from where we are holding this program for the benefit of our uh, listeners of our viewers is that IGNO Regional Center Cochin is to provide open and distance education in the region under its ju jurisdiction. There are six districts of Kerala, namely Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kottayam, Idiki and Alapura and the Union Territory of Lakshadweep which is catered to by offering programs in this region. There are programs at various levels such as certificate level programs, diploma programs, postgraduate diploma programs, bachelor's programs and a master's level programs. Now how are these programs offered in the mega university which is there across the country in various states and in various other, other places? IGNO academic programs are offered through its schools of studies. There are 21 schools of studies in this university, which is at the headquarters of the university at IGNO at New Delhi. And it is from under these schools of studies that the academic programs are on offer under various disciplines. Now, what are the programs or what are the specific requirements or needs that the that IGNO programs caters to? I think that would be of interest for our viewers. Basically, IGNO programs is directed or is towards fulfilling certain learner needs. One I would say is the certification need. That is, we would have acquired the required knowledge by way of over a period of being in that particular area or so. But there is a requirement for formal certification in that particular discipline. So IGNO provides an avenue for people at various a stages of their life or at their whatever age they are to come in and have certification by pursuing a program with this university. Another need for us as learners is yes the improvement of skills. There is a constant need for all of us to keep improving our needs our skills so that we are we remain competent in whatever sphere of activity that we are engaged with. IGNO provides a platform for improvement of skills. By this, what I refer to is that many of the IGNO programs are towards enhancing or towards acquiring certain specific skills, maybe in a particular discipline, in a particular job sector, etc. That avenue provides us an opportunity to improve our skills and thereby become more competent and have further career progression. Uh, another interesting uh, aspect is that it caters to the learner's need for self-enrichment. We all would agree that learning has to be a lifelong process and we often have a keen desire to keep ourselves self-enriched. By way of this open and distance education and by the flexibility inherent in the open and distance education, it provides us a very uh, useful or a very viable way of self-enriching ourselves. So many of the learners who enroll are enrolling for self-enrichment. IGNO provides avenues for acquisition of professional qualifications. Often in the job sphere or otherwise, there is a need to be professionally equipped so that we are able to perform in the required way in a particular sector where we, need, where we desire to be serving. So it provides an avenue for acquisition of professional qualifications. Continuing education is 
of course the major thrust of uh, igno because it provides avenues for learning across uh, various uh, sections and at different ages we it's possible to get into continuing education so it provides us a very good avenue for continuing education and professional development at the workplace igno also caters to the need for diversification maybe if you want to move into a different discipline or a different sphere of activity it provides us that very much required avenue for diversification and updation of our knowledge and of course it provides uh, helps us to be empowered or empowerment is another need that is being catered to by various igno programs now let me get a little more specific to what the programs that igno as a university is offering uh, i'm sure our viewers will be interested to know about that igno programs on offer are basically at various levels on a broad level that is there are certificate programs offered by the university by certificate what is referred to is that these programs are of say a minimum of usually a 6 months duration that is that is a minimum time for the program to be pursued then there are uh, that is the certificate program and in case in fact in any program in open and distance learning there is a concept of a minimum and a maximum duration given that flexibility is inbuilt into the system for the learners to successfully pursue and complete their program so coming to the certificate program uh, this minimum duration is 6 months and there is a maximum duration of 2 years generally 2 years so that is about the uh, certificate program we have it in various uh, areas i'll come to that apart from the certificate programs there are one year diploma courses diploma programs sorry diploma programs offered by this university it is of one year duration post graduate diploma programs are also offered by the university which is of one year duration and pursued after the graduation by the learner and then there is the degree programs the bachelor's degree programs in various disciplines in fact a wide array of disciplines are on offer for uh, learners to pursue and be graduates and then there are post graduation programs in the university at uh, various uh, disciplines across various disciplines programs are on offer so let me uh, highlight a little about the certificate level programs which uh, are on offer uh, we have a certificate program in disaster management that is uh, most of the certificate programs if we look at most of them the eligibility for entry is usually stated as 10 plus 2 that is those who have acquired or who have passed the 10 plus 2 or the standard 12 are eligible to pursue a certificate program in most cases from the university so i was mentioning about the certificate in disaster management there is a certificate in environmental science studies that is suppose a person is keen in the area of environmental studies then and we know there is a lot of interest being generated in that area they can pursue a this program a short 6 month duration duration certificate program in environmental studies those in the areas or interested in in the area of business there is certificate in business skills or the cbs program which is again a certificate program in languages that is certificate in teaching english as a second language is there certificate in functional english is also a sought after program because it helps uh, the prospective learners to have an opportunity to um, pursue and get more competence in the area of functional english apart from that there are programs in certificate in hiv and family education certificate in tourism studies which is also in line mode then certificate in food and nutrition rural development certificate in human rights information technology certificate in guidance certificate in consumer protection etc so these are 6 months program which a learner can uh, very conveniently pursue and during the gap of duration of 6 months they are able to complete it then they are able to acquire or have uh, been qualified with a certificate uh, from the university now at the diploma level programs university is offering uh, diploma level programs at in different uh, areas 
and in uh, regional center cochin there is diploma in creative writing in uh, tourism studies the dts program diploma in early childhood care and education diploma in hiv and family education uh, these are the main programs which uh, the university is offering at the diploma level or at the regional center under the regional center i am highlighting Uh, apart from this there are post graduate diploma programs which i stated earlier that learners who are graduates can pursue this program there is a post graduate diploma in food safety and quality management those who are pursuing a career or interested to be in that particular sector it is very useful for such kind of learners there is a post phd diploma in social work counseling counseling and family therapy and there are a number of diplomas in the management stream such as the post graduate diploma in human resource management or financial management operations management marketing management and uh, financial market actors often we find uh, learners who are already employed and they are in some particular sector maybe in a finance sector and they want to enhance their competence then they can they pursue a diploma or a pg diploma in financial management just to quote an instance apart from that there are pg diplomas in disaster management in rural development translation international business operations is also a program that is offered by the university then there are programs in environment and sustainable development journalism and mass communication educational management administration educational technology I mean, these programs which i am mentioning now are of benefit for those maybe teachers or those who are in the educational sector at school level or higher level these programs like the post graduate diploma in higher education the pgdhe program post graduate diploma in school leadership and management which is a very useful program for those who are currently serving as principals or who would very shortly be uh, taking up the role of principals in schools that is a very relevant program then educational technology educational management and administration etc the area of education now uh, apart from this pg diploma programs there are graduation programs the degree programs there is the bca program the bachelor of computer applications uh, bachelor of arts um, the ba program is on offer in various various areas then there is b bcom program there is a bachelor of commerce the general bcom program is there and also there are programs which are being offered in association with certain bodies such as the uh institute of cost accountants of india the company secretaries of india specific special bcoms and mcoms are also on offer uh, that's a very very niche area where learners we often find are enrolling then there is the bachelor of science program which is being offered by the university bachelor of social work uh, is also a very useful program which uh, graduates as <laughs> found to pursue bachelor in li of library and information sciences is an, is an opportunity for those who would like to pursue a career or maybe they are already working in that sector in library sciences it is a very useful program and also there is the the tourism level program so the bachelor's level program are in various uh, streams in with various uh, specializations these programs are on offer in the university uh, the graduation programs post graduation programs are also a wide array of pg programs are provided by the university and uh, in the management stream that is the mba program is being offered the man the that is a master of business administration and also there is a mba program for those in in the banking and finance sector that is mba banking and finance uh, program then in uh, computer area we have the master of computer applications Uh, then msc uh, master of science in counseling and family therapy uh, master of commerce then in languages like ma english ma hindi and uh, social work other areas like economics history political science public administration sociology psychology library science etc uh, just to put it in across with the array that programs are offering uh, basically to just put across the point that igno has a number of academic programs in various areas and in various uh, sectors uh, those who are in various sectors would be able to take the best benefit of it so that's why i just listed out these programs um, and of course the more details of these programs is available in the uh, university uh, website so i'll come to the details of the uh, university website 
that is uh, www.ignou.ac.in if you visit the website of the university you find all relevant information for a prospective learner to know while they are going to seek admission to this university the programs that are on offer in detail in terms of their eligibility and other act, other specific information is provided in the university website for a learner who wants to apply the process of admission is online and what you see on the screen is the link for the online admission that is ignoadmission.summit.edu.in so once you go to this particular website and if you go specifically to this link we find that all information about the programs on offer is displayed and the process of getting into that is also displayed there and for us at the convenience of wherever we are we can submit our application forms online by taking you through the entire process the portal will guide you from each step to the other so that you can submit your application on the online portal it also provides uh, details of where the programs are on offer and other details the courses etc so that as a learner a prospective learner can himself choose uh, the where he would like to join which program he would like to all these details are there in this portal and for learners or the prospective learners who find any difficulty of course while applying or otherwise they can contact the regional center the website i would be mentioning in the next uh, next to next slide so you can write to us if you face any difficulty while applying online and also i would like to inform that there is a facility for fee exemption claim for scst applicants for specified programs as per the portal that information is displayed in the portal now if you look at the igno admission portal that i just mentioned earlier uh, it looks like this and you can see now the last date for submission of application as of now it is indicated as 15th of march 2021 and uh, the various programs that are on offer and also uh, more importantly the if you look at the earlier part of it it talks about the program information in the information bulletin where each program all details are provided and often we have number of queries while we are going to seek admission uh, i'm sure our uh, viewers would be agreeing to so therefore a number of faqs or the frequently asked questions are provided right in the portal so that you can read through that and get responses to your intended queries or questions that you may have so please go through these and there are detail there is detailed information provided there on how to fill the application online so once you go through this instruction you will have to go in and register with the with the registered username and with the password you will be able to once you do that you can log in with your registered user login and you can go to the entire process of admission which includes providing your uh, basic profile details your qualifications etc as a sort by the by the portal and right up to the fee payment can be done online and once the admission form is submitted the prospective learner gets an intimation of submission of the same through the, the maybe the email or the mobile number details they have to share and they should ensure that they share the details in which they can they have access to and therefore they are kept updated about the admission process and the stage of their admission form as to whether it is confirmed or there's any uh, discrepancy to be attended to etc so this is how the portal is and you can it's very easy and you can go through this and you can apply and for any support in this matter you should you can definitely contact a regional center uh, which is regional center email id that is rccochin@igno.ac.in for benefit of our prospective learners i would like to share that igno's igno regional center cochin has a website which provides specific information uh, to this or catering to this regional center cochin and that is rccochin. ignou.ac.in and um, many of the updates you can find once you visit the website and overall information about the university and generally about the admission portal is already available in the igno website which i mentioned earlier that is ignou.ac.in 
Igno also has a Facebook page both at the headquarters and at the regional center and updates are being posted uh, from time to time so that uh, our uh, viewers get information about various de developments or activities in the university. There is a Twitter account also which is also uh, displayed here for the benefit of uh, those who are viewing this program and as I mentioned earlier the regional center email ID is there. Maybe a learner applies and there's any query, they can write to us um, to the email ID. And once again, I'll just mention about the website of the university, which is the key portal or the key area where you get all the information about IGNO. That is www.ignou.ac.in. And with regard to the admission or the online admission, the online portal is IGNOU. A D M I S S I O N Igno Admission dot Samarth dot edu dot in. So, viewers, uh, this was to give you an overall view about Igno as a university and uh, specifically about the admission process or the programs that the university is offering and um, many of the features and the other uh, activities of the university so that. We get an idea about the programs that are on offer. We hope that you will be able to make the best use of the programs that IGNO is offering in the field of higher education. Thank you very much.